This is what Russia says is within its sovereign right to do. Hold military drills in the southwestern region neighboring Ukraine. These drills were held on Wednesday as representatives of Russia and NATO met in Brussels for talks on security. The first in nearly three years. Since late last year, the West has been concerned by Russia building up a force of nearly 100,000 soldiers near Ukraine, demanding that Washington pledge never to let Ukraine join the 30-member military alliance, or expand it eastwards, a point the United States refuses to accept. And at the opening session of the world's biggest security conference, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, a stark warning from the incoming chairman. The risk of war in the OEC area is now greater than ever before in the last 30 years. For several weeks, we have been faced with a possibility of a major military escalation in Eastern Europe. While the Polish foreign minister went on to warn that tensions could upend the post-Cold War order on the continent, Moscow continues to maintain it has no intention of attacking Ukraine. We should abandon a vicious cycle of treating Russia as the enemy. We propose mechanism of agreement, consultation, etc. Our written ideas for the American side and for the NATO alliance are aimed at preventing the scenario through diplomacy, consultations, and not through raising tensions and the use of military instruments. This follows high-level talks between NATO and Russia in Brussels on Wednesday, where the two sides clearly did not have a positive outcome after a four-hour meeting. President Vladimir Putin's spokesperson has called this week's talks unsuccessful. The Kremlin says that if the United States were to impose sanctions on President Putin, it would be comparable to severing ties with Russia. It is now clear that dialogue and diplomacy have not bridged the gaps between Moscow and the West but rather highlighted their unresolved differences. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Moscow.